Yeah, that's about normal for the franchise. Oof. Oof. What did they do? Huh. Not the most hype intro, is it? Considering, like, I mean, there, there's a weird choice to treat us to naked Zhou Yun, but, uh, no, like, one-shotting an entire boat or catapulting... I think he catapulted a entire horse with a boat with a spear once and then collided in mid-air with Lu Bu, and it's like... That was probably six, right? I don't remember. There's, <laughs> there's been some crazy-ass intros. So this is Dynasty Warriors 9. I have avoided this franchise on this channel because I know that this is a repetitive gameplay style, but I've put so many hundreds of hours into this franchise because <laughs> I grew up playing every single Dynasty Warriors game since 2, and I've had them all, and I, I really enjoy playing it, but, you know, commentary over a monotonous thing is weird, but I, I just I have to know. Because they're taking a risk again, and when they take a risk, you get stuff like Dynasty Warriors 6, where things get weird, or Strike Force even. Uh, they, they went open world this time, so instead of a bunch of discrete maps, they went open world. And I guess it's time for them to get experimental, because Samurai Warriors 4 is probably the best game they've ever made, and might be the best thing they can ever do with this with their formula. So, since they've finished that, sort of. I guess they could try something weird. And if we don't like it, we can go back to playing Samurai Warriors 4, the best game they've ever made. Yeah. So I'm playing it on PC. Because I, it, it's a risk. Because, you know... I've got to hear... I, don't, I can't. I'm sorry, everybody. I've got to hear the doofy... <laughs> Get a load of my magic! Let's try hard. Just to make it a little bit more of like I'm actually doing something. But if you go, usually if you go all the way into Medica Hardcore difficulty, uh, you just get instantly crushed or something. But I, I love the, I love the terrible voice acting of English Dynasty Warriors and you cannot cure me of this disease. You can't stop me. But I'm playing it on PC because I heard a ton of complaints about frame rate, And I wanted to try playing it on PC to see if I could get away with that. Because, uh... uh Usually, all the reviews or early impressions are from console versions of games, so I was wondering if maybe playing it on a higher quality thing would somehow make it like, wow, there are no graphic settings. Oh, never mind, those are the advanced ones. Excuse me. Thank you. Next page? Is it all? Okay. Yeah, quality high. I've got a 1070. I'm, we should be good. We should be good. And if it's not good, uh, we're gonna find out that this has something to do with the engine itself. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so I don't- we did a- we did a poll about what your favorite characters are, and, uh, I was surprised by the- Excuse me? How's this- Oh. Weird. Oh, interesting. That's how they're doing it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know what the options were gonna be to begin with. So we did a poll about what your favorite Dynasty Warriors things are. 
I was gonna just like screw off and just play my favorite character instead, but he's all the way down there. Yeah, that's right. I buy into the hype. I play as the guy from the goddamn cover of the game and the intro cinematic and everything. Apparently it's gonna take a long ass time to unlock him though, or at least that much in. You know what, let's just do what you guys wanted. Uh, I found out that my audience is a bunch of ways, a bunch of race traders. How dare you? So you're all big fans of Cao Cao and Wei for some reason, even though they always feel like the bad guys. But okay, sure. Uh, playable characters for one. So you have to you have to start the game as one of the three leaders of the three kingdoms. Okay. And over the, and over, then over the course of that we unlock like 90 people. <laughs> this game has 90 characters. <laughs> Whew. All right. During the oh by the way, just get ready for a lot of mispronounced uh, everything because. Well, first of all, it's old Chinese names, and I don't know Chinese anything very well. And uh, I used to carpool with a Chinese woman to my college for like three years. And if we ever if we ever got to Dynasty Warriors as a topic of conversation, she would laugh at me if I ever tried to pronounce anyone's names because it's really funny to her because she actually uses those names in real life. And fucking Dynasty Warriors for like. Five games didn't know how to pronounce their own characters' names. Their, their English localization team was so bad, they unironically called the character Cow P for like a decade and nobody caught it. Oh, it's great. It's great. I love this. I love this dumb franchise. <laughs> Chapter 1 Suppressing the Yellow Turbans. During the end of the later Han, the land was in chaos due to the power struggles that had erupted within the Imperial Court, and the people were suffering as a result. In this period of turmoil, a man named Zheng Zhao, who had been leading the way of peace, in, uh, instigated what would become known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. In response, the Imperial Court established a punitive force and volunteer corps to make efforts to quell the rebellion. I swear, they probably just used the same text every game, right? We start off with Cao Cao. I, I believe it's pronounced Zao Zao. The franchise, for most of it, has called him Cow Cow, which is great. <laughs> and he's our only available character at the moment, so here we go. Before beginning the game, would you like to perform an action tutorial? Sure. Teach me about your new... You usually have new abilities, right? I hope. A dynasty, uh, Samurai Wars 4 had some cool things with like the, 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 the dashy moves and the character swaps. I love I love Samurai Warriors 4 specifically because you can play co-op with yourself. You can you can play two characters at once, and you can send the other character to a specific part of the map to deal with other objectives that you're not dealing with, and then you can hot swap between them by like pressing the back button or something. So you can do objective. You can basically be in two places at once. Oh no! Why is it flashing? As you approach enemies, your weapon will be readied automatically. Attack by pressing those buttons that always do all the buttons in this game. When the Musa gauge, gauge is full, press B. Okay, so that's all the stuff that's always been true. Okay, it's done flip. Okay, the flickering was just a weird demo thing. Okay. Oh, there goes all those guys. So I'm least familiar with Wei, perhaps, because I always see them as the bad guys, and I'm always running around, like, saving peasants and rescuing a baby <laughs> at the Battle of Chengban <laughs> Bridge or whatever. And I'm always like, oh yeah, they're, they're like they're like the people I want to ch uh, rule ag uh, cheer against because I want to I want to destroy their entire uh, fleet and like I want to light their fleet on fire and I want to scare them with the idea of like, oh, is our strategist alive or dead? You, you'll never know, see me. But sure. Ow! What's that? What's that? Ooh! If people attack you. You can hit Y to like counter them. Hey, Zussi. Zeus. Zeus. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> So press right bumper plus X, Y, or B to do trigger attacks. You, they can send enemies flying to the air, stun them, or change their status. You can cha charge such stun attacks by holding down the button for a certain amount of time to increase their power, allowing you to utterly overwhelm enemies that normally wouldn't even flinch. While holding R, B, these types of trigger attacks can then be used as well as their respective buttons for, for using them while... Oh, just saying the buttons will be displayed. Hey, you. Are you st so you're stunned now, right? Yeah. Let's do a launch. The Y is launch. B must be the change status one. Ooh, I have an ice attack. Ow. Ow. Rude. 
you can attacking me during the goddamn tutorial. Uh, you can use items by pressing up on the D-pad. Select an item, press left on, uh, right on the D-pad. In addition, you can configure only oh right and left. It's changing back and forth. So it's like uh, a little, a little bit of the, like the, some of the Monster Hunter di uh, and Dark Souls item switch switching stuff. You can configure it elsewhere. To launch you in the air, an ice attack. <laughs> Oh, they still want me to execute a stun trigger. Have I not done that yet? Or I must have not done it when they wanted me to. I, did, I probably was doing the tutorial out of order. It's called a fell trigger. Oh, it has a cooldown. Probably because it's a giant awesome ice attack. Hey, you. I can use vitality powder. Oh, yeah. Was my health actually at zero? <laughs> I think my health might have been at zero. I've already used a fell trigger, haven't I? Unless you want me to, to charge it up more or something. Oh, hey, my horse. Ah, uh, yeah, they're still using the example of what I always use in every game as the best horse controls ever, which is that you freaking just... You just call the horse, and you're like, I'm actively running, and I press le left trigger, and the horse just runs to me, and I auto-mount it. I'm like, yes! The, the pain in the ass of having to like slowly walk up to the side of a horse and approach to the side and then search for the goddamn prompt and press A. Every RPG ever is why I never use horses in every other video game. <laughs> which which also counts for a significant portion of previous uh, Dynasty Warriors games. The older ones didn't have that control yet and they were infuriating. All right, do the fell trigger. Okay. I can't- the tutorial's too hard, you guys. I can't beat it. <laughs> I assume I have to hold it or something to do, like, the full version? Because just right bumper plus B isn't doing it. But they're not saying hold it in the actual prompt. Ow. Ooh. A jump attack. Wait. Success? No, you're telling me to press B, though. What? Wait, 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 the tutorial said to do R, R, B plus B, and then I did A and R1. <laughs> Fine. Alright, flow attacks are the normal, it's your normal attacks. Yeah. They changed many, oh, depending on your, ooh, that's new. That is new. Flow attacks are combo attacks that change depending on your enemy's state. So my, my X attacks actually will change based on what state my, my enemy currently is. Which was not true before. It was always just cut in stone, uh, set in stone, X X X X, then cut like X with a, and exit it with a, with a combo with a Y attack whenever you feel like it, kind of thing. Pressing X after performing one of these attacks will chain together combo attacks. In addition, by combining with these trigger attacks, you have a variety of combo attacks can be performed. So the idea is I should like launch somebody, and then try doing other X attacks. Oh yeah, and I'll follow him into the air. Yeah, so he does. So his X combo changes based on what I've done to people recently, which means I have more combos than you normally do. Now he's covered in ice. It says follow up with R B plus B with a with a flow attack, and I am, and it's not doing anything. Unless that's A, because it seemed like A is what did that before. It is. It's telling me the wrong button for the tutorial. It's doing to do- it's saying to do R, B plus B, but then A, A- that doesn't work, and then A works. What? Reactive attacks are strong attacks that allow you to perform effective, uh, techniques according to the situation. For example, you can counter an enemy that has attacked you, breaking the enemy's guard with a guard break, or perform various other attacks based on your situation. Oops, it's not how you counter people, they have to do something first. There we go. <laughs> This poor guy has just been determined to be the punching bag of the tutorial. Special attacks, RB plus A, are powerful attacks that are unique to each officer. These buttons are wrong. It's telling me the wrong buttons. The fell attack is definitely RB plus A, and the special attack is RP plus B, isn't it? You are invincible while doing the special attack. 
The elemental attributes are added to your attacks. Note that after ex executing a special attack, you'll be able to wait for a certain period of time before executing another. The tutorial tells you the wrong buttons. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. It's true. Look. See? It says that's right. I hit B. <laughs> How'd you... Wait, what? How'd that happen? Weird. And it's... And it's obviously the tutorial prompt that's wrong, and not like a remapping or anything. Cause yeah, A is jump and B is muso, that's always been like the case. Or specifically muso has always been B, or circle, if you're on PS3. But they made... <laughs> and they made the jump to fail your opponent attack RB plus A, which makes sense, cause, you're, cause that's how you jump. And they made your special thing, you, the RB plus muso button, which is B. So, the commands I'm pressing seem to be correct for how the controls historically work. It's just the it's just the tutorial prompts that are flat out wrong. <laughs> How'd they do that? All right. During the end of the later Han, the land was in chaos due to the power struggles that had erupted within the Imperial court. In addition, repeated natural disasters and poor harvests had aggravated the suffering of the people. In this period of turmoil, a man by the name of Zhang Jiao appeared. He began to teach the way of peace in Ji province and brought help to the common people, winning their hearts almost immediately. Then, in the year 184, he rises up in revolt against the imperial court. His yellow turbans rose up in every district across the land. History would later refer to this as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The Imperial Court unsuccessfully tries to suppress them, but is defeated. The fate of the 400-year-old Han Dynasty is about to be decided. a most deplorable sight. I never expected to see the land in such a poor and wretched state. Cao Cao. He was the cousin of both Shaho Yuan and Shaho Dun. A man of keen judgment and decisive personality. He got a start as a low-ranking official in Luo Yang. Upon receiving orders to assist in the efforts to put down the Yellow Turban Rebellion, he made his way to the Central Plains. However, his keen insight caused him to look beyond the situation at hand to what lay ahead. In their poverty, the people rose up and cast out the evil that was plaguing the land. Yet, those same people in their turn turn to pillaging and plunder in order to support their newly found power. Clearly without rules, there is not much separating people from mere beasts. Ah, my lord, there you are! You can't be going off on your own like this. You're responsible for an actual army now! So, that is you as a lord. You do have your own sense of honor, do you not? This isn't the time for jokes. I'm simply trying to do my best here, given the situation. Oh, that reminds me. Cousin Dune was looking for you. We should go meet up with him. Holy cow, I think it got worse. <laughs> The narrator was fine. The narrator actually had a moment of like, I wanted to look it up. I looked on IMDB, I was like, is that, that's not Scott Glenn, right? They would never get Scott Glenn to do the narration for a Dynasty Warriors game, right? The guy that played Stick in a, he played Stick in the Daredevil series and stuff like that. And I'm like, no, no, it just sounds like his narration kind of, no. But then it got to the characters, I'm like, holy crap, you didn't have direction at all, did you? <laughs> You're not even saying those sentences how any human would. The left stick clicking makes you draw your weapon, like you can do it manually. It's not a bad looking environment. 
it looks like it's going to be incredibly barren. You can definitely see the pop in. I turn the camera in certain directions. But it looks alright. I actually had to reload because the game didn't save. I think going to the tutorial makes the game wipe all your settings. The language the language reset and uh, the graphics settings were all set to low. And then I came back in and it kind of went back up. Frame rate seems 60. Why do the Imperial forces have to be so arrogant? They're not very fond of me, are they? Listen to this about Lord Salsa. He's skilled and smart and cunning for sure. But when he heads into town at night, well, even Lord Xiao Xuan once said that he wouldn't trust Lord Cao Cao with his daughters. An honest reaction from a father, perhaps. Hold on, Lord Cao Cao. Anyone would be happy to be with you. Forget about Xiao Xuan's daughters and move on. I don't, I'm like, does he realize he's talking to the person he's talking about? Concern. Concern. Well, a lot of people around. Running significantly better than games in this franchise tend to do when there's a bunch of characters everywhere. And they're not exactly fighting right now. Kudos for voicing random dude. Every random villager has dialogue, it would seem, that's voiced. Unless that's gonna drop off after the first chapter. Cao Cao, did you find what it was you were looking for? That's why you agreed to help put down the yellow turbans, right? Indeed. Though I served as an official in Luoyang, I never really saw the plight of the people. However, the world is in more trouble than I ever anticipated. The wretched state of this region appears to have been caused by more than just the yellow turbans. There must be something else behind it as well. Hmm? Excuse me. I heard that you were here to help put down the yellow turbans. Yes, that is correct. Are you also a member of our cause? My name is Soon Jian. Like you, I am part of the subjugation force assembled by the Imperial forces. I've just received word from our scouts that a yellow turban army is marching on this village. Could I ask you to assist with its defense? This village has already seen more than its fair share of suffering. We would be honored to help defend it. You have my gratitude. Now, let us repel the darkness of tyranny wherever it may arise. Ah. <laughs> I guess combat just started. That was so startling. Oh my god. Everyone just whipped out their weapons and the game got really loud with no warning. Oh, that's fantastic. Also, how did, how did Zheng Xiao get his, ha his hair to do that? That was incredible. Like, aside from that little intro, his, his hair is, tar is horrifying. <laughs> he has a giant cone. It's amazing. So, I don't know, it's been a while since I played a, a, main, a main series Dynasty Warriors game. But I'm starting to wonder, did any of the voice actors come back? It sounds like I can't recognize a single person. There's the lock on. You can only lock on to people with names, I think. Take that, pay you on show. Wait, how many health bars do you have? Stamina gauge, green, depletes whenever you perform an evade, a dash, or a, a wall jump? Yes. Or whenever you sprint. Right bumper plus left stick when your weapon's not- why? Why would you- why is it mapped to that? Okay, so right trigger is evade, that's the big thing to learn. And B is dash, but that must be when your weapon's not drawn too, otherwise it's a muso attack. If your stamina has been depleted, you won't be able to perform such actions, but your stamina gauge will gradually be restored as time passes. While riding a horse, if you collide with an enemy while sprinting, your stamina will deplete. If you lose all of your stamina, you suddenly stop moving. You really want to get in the way of the yellow turbans? In that case, you'll have to deal with my quick feet and my strong arms. So is this sprinting? 
Yeah, this is sprinting. Like, this is normal movement, and this is sprinting. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. Yeah, that's not what Zhao Dun is supposed to sound like. Or Shi Hao Dun? Is that? Yeah. A lot of characters get, get a lot of very different names all get crushed together as being Zhao to me. Which is a problem, because there's, there's Z-H-O-U, but then there's like Z-A-O, but then there's like J-I-A-O, and I'm like, they all, they could all reasonably be interpreted as that wrong thing. Oh, he has pips that represent how many health bars he has. I see. Get in the air. <laughs> he sounds like he's stubbed his toe. He's out of range, isn't he? That's, that's embarrassing. Trying to launch him, but the pursuit was a little weird. He is dodging the attacks. There we go. He's not gonna have a good time. He is weirdly durable, isn't he? Hey, you. Get up. <laughs> Ooh. I've gotta get out of here. You got like. You got like Y attack finishers? Hey, that takes care of the yellow turbans in the area. I couldn't have asked for a better result than this. Yes, that takes care of Master Sun Jian's request. Now let us return to the village. It wants me to stand there. <laughs> so we have we have the old thing that's been a thing in, throughout this franchise, which is that Nothing every time can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. My ambition. Every time a li uh, line of dialogue plays, you have to wait for all the dialogue that's backlogged to finish playing for the objective to update, otherwise you're just staring at a point on the ground. In order to craft items and weapons, you need to have materials that are often written in scrolls. First acquire scrolls by completing missions and tasks, then collect all the materials that are written on the scrolls and head back to the facility that's appropriate to making the thing a thing. I apparently completed- it. what is happening with the arrows around here? Scroll, frost gem. Scroll that allows frost gem to be crafted. I Okay. That's it. Show us how it's done. I guess I won't have to read descriptions very much if the description is just it allows you to make the thing that is the name of the item. I don't know why it keeps telling me to go here. Die, butterfly! I can't kill the butterfly. I have to draw a weapon. Ah. I want to see if I can hit the butterfly or not. Hey guys. That was awesome. I get worked up just watching you. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> we have driven off the yellow turban army that was headed this way. That should keep them at bay for the time being. Ah, you did it! I could tell there was something special about you from the moment I first saw you. You definitely stand out from the rest of this crowd. It is a great honor to be fighting alongside you. Thank you again for your cooperation. I apologize for my sudden request earlier. If only the rest of our army was as capable as you, I would not have had to trouble you so. I originally reported it to Master Dong Zhuo. However, he said there was no glory to be had in protecting a single village and didn't wish to spare the troops. Dong Zhuo of Liang Province. I do believe he has been given the responsibility of leading our forces in this battle. It is not as though he is without troops of his own. As such, it is likely that he is only looking out for himself. Yes, I thought the same thing myself. It is immoral scoundrels like him that cause unrest such as this in the first place. There is little point in lamenting that fact now, though. Our primary focus should be on putting down this rebellion and restoring peace to the land. This situation reeks of greed and opportunism on all sides. I have a feeling this battle will not be resolved so easily. You're right about that. I'm beginning to suspect some of our allies just as much as the enemy. We should probably watch our backs out there on the battlefield. Now then, let's get started on our preparations. We can meet up at the village entrance once we're finished. 
I am fascinated by the voice acting. Everyone's like hyper enunciating like their data. It is important that I enunciate every single possible syllable so you I can achieve maximum understanding. I, I gotta know. I gotta know what Lubu sounds like. I gotta know what what uh, Zhaoyun sounds like. I gotta know what uh, what Zhang He sounds like. We'll find. Oh, I gotta know what Zuzu sounds like. And I'm I'm sure I mispronounced every single one of those names. <laughs> what? How did they do him in this game? Oh, there's Guan Yu. There's Zheng Fei Lu Bei. Ah, uh, that's none of the people I was looking for. Hello, leader of the faction I normally pick. But everyone likes this guy, apparently. This is the most... According to the poll I did, this character is the most popular character in my entire audience that isn't Lu Bu, basically. Are you also with the assembled Imperial forces? We are volunteer troops. We're fighting in this battle in order to ease the suffering of the ordinary people. The Yellow Turbans themselves began as suffering peasants. I would like to bring salvation to them also, but unfortunately, that seems impossible. I see. You are not here for personal gain, but out of concern for the people. I admire your resolve, but it will not be easy. It takes time to try and save everyone. In that time, though, the chaos spreads causing even more to suffer. Our only choice is to do whatever it takes to end this rebellion as quickly as possible. It may seem heartless, but in the end, it will save even more lives. I am known as Guan Yu. I believe our meeting here is some kind of fate. I hope to see more of you both. The name's Zheng Fei. I'm pretty handy in a brawl, if I do say so myself. Nice to meet ya. Oh no! Oh no! He's so clearly a guy that's like, I am doing a voice. And it's like, and... He doesn't have, what is it, the like the higher, like slightly raspy or whatever? I don't know how to describe voices that I'm used to Zheng Fei having. Uh, Guan Yu vaguely sounds like the right type of voice, but it's clearly a different person entirely. But Zhang Fei, I'm, he's supposed to sound completely different. This is screwing with me. Oh no. I'm not even going to recognize some of these characters. If they make freaking Zheng He sound like a goddamn businessman instead of the guy that asks about beauty, I'm going to lose my mind. Hey, get on in here. You can buy and sell weapons at the blacksmiths, or you can craft things. It's probably pretty straightforward, so I'm gonna just move beyond that. The price is that much. I am a leader of an entire army, but I can't afford uh, a better sword. <laughs> I like to play as Zhao Yun because he, he... He's a member of what feels like the most honorable and noble group of the Three Kingdoms, but also he's uh, a natural fit for a protagonist character because he's not a leader of an entire group. He's just somebody that goes in and wants to save people and like he, he rescues a baby. Come on. But he's not available at this point in the game, so we'll see. The Frost Gem. You need Jason Jason Defense plus 5%, Ice Elemental sur uh, Surprise Attack Damage plus 19%. I assume I can like equip that. Come again. Gems are required in order to upgrade weapons. By equipping uh, gems to weapons, effects will be added to trigger attacks and reactive attacks. You can equip or remove gems from your weapons at a blacksmith or reforge under officer info. Iron blade, yeah. Do I need to pick a specific spot to put it? Launch attack, frost gem? Sure. We'll start with that. Head back to the entrance of the village. Is that what I meant to do? There we go. So I, I thought it was a complicated control when I first read it, but they just mean move with left stick and then hold right right bumper to sprint. So right bumper is sprint, basically. There's no... There's no... It's not a two-button thing like I thought it was. I thought it was click left stick. I'm like, that's weird. Please take this. 
Oh, there goes the voice acting. I'll accompany you as far. Never mind, it went on without me. All right, let's go. Probably wasn't that important. They're probably like, let's do story mission. Ooh, let's look at the map. So, was that my goal right now? Or is that where I just was? <laughs> Kiao. So we are currently up here with Xiaodun. Look at this map, it's all of China. That's how big China is. Yeah, it's like five kilometers, right? That's how big China is. It's like the size of uh, Rhode Island. <laughs> no, I'm not complaining. I'd lose my mind if I had to walk across all of China in this game. But yeah, it's, this game is a map of China. Very dark right now, so you can't really see it very well because I haven't discovered it yet, but you can see that part. It's going to eventually look, look that color so we can actually see it. Whoa. There's a huge number of objectives. You could train with the archery unit, drive off the Tiger Master. Am I in like a side quest zone? I am, and it's like a side quest zone right now. Training recruits. Train them to get ready for battle. Reward is you get some licorice root and 200 experience. Why can't my reward be they are better at f combat? <laughs> uh, I need to figure out what level I am actually. For context, I'm level six. One might wonder why the first five levels would even exist if you skip them, but sure. And I'm at half health, I should probably fix that. Whoops. Unless that's half of maximum possible health, as in like, what I can upgrade to eventually. Uh, you can, can I fast travel to it? I cannot. I can select it. Okay, and then you select it and it'll take you to it via the waypoints. That's neat. Everything seems to be vibrating, kind of, though. Like, everyone's beards and, uh, hair and, like, robes and whatnot. Even the tutorials are obsessed with with the, the shoe kingdom. Here's the, uh, was it the, the pact they made under the cherry blossom tree? Complete missions to advance the story as well as earn rewards. Something completing, sometimes completing a mission will affect other related missions, so when you feel that your current mission's too difficult, leave the battlefield and attempt to complete different missions. Is it, oh, is there gonna be like a dedicated mission for like, burnt, like setting up a fire trap for the, the Cherubi boats or something like that? I wonder if that's how they'll me uh, deal with that stuff mechanically. But yeah, those, those three uh, declare themselves to be blood brothers under that, under that uh, cherry blossom tree. It's like a cutscene they always use, no matter... No matter how few or, or many cutscenes there are in the game, that one always makes it in. I keep pressing left stick to run because it feels natural. I just hit level 7 for, like, coming here? Oh. Okay. Upgrading officers. With upgrade, you can use upgrade points to raise the uh, abilities of officers. You can freely distribute points to the abilities you want to upgrade. Note that you will receive upgrade points when you level up. I just have points I can spend right now. Okay. Oh, and my health refilled automatically. So, I assume that's health... Uh, it doesn't actually... Oh, there's a key on the side. So, it's health, muso, stamina. Attack is a sword, which is none of these icons. Fist is power, which affects attack. Okay. Then there's defense... Speed and bow skill. A whole dedicated skill for bows, huh? Let's pump up the power. Boom. All in. Your upgrade points were spent. Yeah. It's gonna play the full victory sound every time I unlock a character. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh. The question is, can you hot swap? The time of the Han has ended. Long live the yellow turbans. Hmm. What's troubling you, Cao Cao? That's the chant the yellow turbans keep saying. There are many who are dissatisfied with the corruption that runs rampant in the government, even if they are not part of this uprising. Even if we slay Zhang Jiao and quell this rebellion, Another is likely to rise up in its place. I cannot help but feel their sentiment about the Han is correct. 
Well, we can't simply let things continue on as they are. The longer this rebellion goes on, the more people will be drawn to its cause. Not only that, but a land under the yellow turbans just doesn't sound all that appealing to me. Hmm. You are both right. No matter how righteous one's cause is, they are simply mere bandits if they approach it without discipline. For now, we need to eliminate Zhang Zhao and put down this rebellion. Then we can focus on dealing with the root causes behind it all. Ah. <laughs> they do that every single time, it's really startling. They're level 16? Are you kidding me? What is this crazy shit? Alright, so let's save. I want to learn something about how this game... Player, playable characters 5, yep. I already, I already saved, why did I do that twice? Uh, how does making a new character work? Select story. It's like now I can pick multiple people. So what, what happens if I pick Shadow Dune? New game. Yes. Okay. So I've 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 tried making a new a new game because I was it was having trouble saving my settings. So I made a new game as Souts out before, and it's like you're gonna rewrite, you're gonna override your story. But that didn't happen here. So I think I can have parallel yeah. saves. Let's not re-explain chapter one. These yellow turbans are starting to annoy me. Where's the glory to be had in defeating a bunch of peasants? I hear that their leader is a sorcerer by the name of Zheng Xiao. If I can claim his head, I'm sure to be richly rewarded. I can't believe I'm stuck here in the countryside after living in Luo Young for so long. Could my luck be any worse? The peasants rose in rebellion at Zheng Jiao's suggestion, right? What a nuisance that guy is. These supposed allies of ours take apathy to new lows. I'm starting to question our chances of success. Hmm. My sense of honor makes it somewhat difficult to put down this insurrection. Shaho Dun. He was the cousin of both Cao Cao and Shaho Yuan. Always calm under pressure, he was a warrior of exceptional ability. He wielded his blade in order to cut a path forward for Cao Cao's ambition. Cousin Dun, the yellow turbans are peasants who had no choice but to rise in rebellion, right? Indeed. Are you also questioning our orders here, Yuen? I can't say I'm thrilled about them. They may come from the Imperial Court itself, but I wonder what our Lord thinks. Speaking of which, where is he? I have no idea. He said there was something he wanted to go see. Well, whatever the case, our only option is to follow wherever Cao Cao leads us. That goes without saying. So, should we go look for him, or what? What an interesting thing to have access to. The ability to hot swap between characters, not really hot swap, but like I, when, I, when I unlock a new character, I can switch to them, and then we can see events from their perspective, and I can even, and I can even just like keep swapping characters over the course of the campaign without ever returning to one I've done before. That's int oh, pressing Y puts you in crouch mode. Am I in s am I sneaky now? There's my dodge. Oh, I pressed I pressed B because it was supposed to be dash, but apparently it's Muso. I'm a little <laughs> God, you sound wrong. Man, you are not you do not look or sound like any version of Zhao of Zhao Dun that I've seen in the past. Really. Weird. How do I dash? It said B was dash, but B is Muso. Also, what does dash mean? I already have a sprint and a jump. I have a double jump, to be, to be, to be specific. The problem with switching characters is I think you might have to replay the mission you just did as said character. Cao Cao, did you find what it was you were looking for? The wretched state of this region appears to have- It's definitely the same conversation as before. 
shall eliminate these yellow turban rebels that are targeting the village. Zhao Dun, Zhao Yuan, come with me. Now's our chance to attack the village. Whoa! Go, you rebel. If you press, <laughs> if you press Y, you go into stealth mode, and all those exclamation points happen on everyone's heads because they represent all the people that can see you. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I need to figure out what buttons block again. There we go. Up in the air with you. So Xiao Dun might be my favorite one of my favorite characters for for way. I always like playing as Xiao Dun and Zheng Zheng Hei. Zheng He? Zheng damn it. <laughs> Somebody is used to hearing these names said by the game and never having to say them out loud. Right. Nice going, cousin. I have way more luck with the Samurai Warriors game because I'm like, okay, Japanese, that's a little easier. This prick again. He's, I immediately like his moveset more, I think. Are you ready to brawl with me? Is that how war works? We're gonna have a showdown, brother. Oops, I gotta draw my weapon. So I put it away on accident. I just want you to go into the air with me. Why, why can't we play fun? Oh my goodness. He's fun to play as. Can't use my spe- oh, I used up my special. Apparently, charging up a Muso is no joke in this game. You do not just instantly have access to it again. The way that you do in some of these games. Damn. Yeah, wow. <laughs> he was intensely more fun to play than Tsao was, frankly. That takes care of the yellow turbans in the area. Couldn't have asked for a better result than this. That's the special. Yes. That takes care of Master Sun Jian's request. Now let us return to the village. There we go. I might change characters for the sake of uh, variety. Except I might have to play scenarios multiple times. Maybe I'll switch characters, then show the intro, but then replay the scenario off-screen so that the repetition gets cut down, and then we get to the new stuff as the new character, maybe. You can create items... At, you need materials to make items... Yeah, I, I, I know what materials generally are in games. It'd be a little weird if I didn't. <laughs> I swear, Sunjian sounds like he's... Sunjian sounds like he's, uh... <laughs> A little bit like Nappa from Team Four Star Bridge, which is weirding me out. I don't remember that being a thing. Hey, we have a future together, don't we? Are you with the Volunteer Corps? Unlike most of the people here, you do not seem to be seeking personal advancement. Indeed, we are not taking part in this battle in the hopes of attaining position in government. My sworn brother, Lu Bei, has taken a stand in order to rescue the ordinary people. I am here because his virtuous spirit has moved me to accompany him. My blade serves my brother. I will suppress this rebellion in the name of honor and virtue. Huh. I personally find fighting in the name of honor to be overrated. You seem nice enough, though. If somewhat overbearing. <laughs> I can't really say that it's a step down in writing, honestly. I'm gonna see if I can make the voices stand out a little bit more from the background stuff. There we go. The <laughs> I will now narrate to you what my character trait is and explain to you my motivation as a person. We are volunteer troops. We're fighting in this battle in order to ease the suffering of the ordinary people. The yellow turbans themselves began as... That seems like the, he said the same thing to me. The name's Zheng Fei. Same dialogue as before. So different dialogue between Guan Yu and, and Zhao Dun, which makes sense because those two characters actually have like a story that'll, that'll develop together. Whereas the other ones are just kind of dudes that exist to an extent. Please take. Interesting that there's a that there's a teleport. I wonder if that'll be an ongoing thing or if it's just for the beginning of the game when they're worried about having me get lost around here. 
So our goal is to repel the yellow turbans. I'm now level 7. The problem with switching characters is when I switch characters, will the new character be uh, the new level or the old level or what? Like... Wait, you guys are level 7? When the fight started, you were level 16. Oh. The time of the Han has ended. Long live the yellow turbans. Hmm. What's troubling you, Cao Cao? That's the chant the yellow turbans keep saying. There are many who are dissatisfied with the corruption that runs rampant in the government, even if they are not part of this uprising. Even if we slay Zhang Xiao and quell this rebellion, another is likely to rise up in its place. I cannot help but feel their sentiment about the Han is correct. Well, we can't simply let things continue on as they are. The longer this rebellion goes on, the more people will be drawn to its cause. Not only that, but a land under the yellow turbans just doesn't sound all that appealing to me. Hmm. You are both right. No matter how righteous one's cause is, they are simply mere bandits if they approach it without discipline. For now, we need to eliminate Zhang Zhao and put down this rebellion. Then we can focus on dealing with the root causes behind it all. Let's get moving. A new mission's available. I'm curious whether side quests are worth doing in this game and generally. It's just, it would just be more... It might just, wow, it got even longer. Oh, this is like mission specific though? There's a bunch of dudes I'm supposed to defeat for this mission. Oh, I think I started- Oh! I think because I walked into town without switching to a side quest, it actually- uh, now I'm doing the main mission and it's time to go do that, which- Whoa. Defeating the Yellow Turbans is like a, a thing, isn't it? So there's Zheng Liang, there's, there's Bo, Bo Kai, Guan Hai, a bunch of other characters. Suppressing the yellow turbans is a level 23 quest? That's... This is massively contextualizing this whole game differently. So defeating various important officers of the yellow turbans. You have a bunch of primary officers that... And then below them are like sub-officers that are... Uh, that themselves are lower level. Ooh. Isn't that interesting? It seems to it seems to imply that if I if I defeat this character, those two characters become lower level. So when I highlight this one, those other two characters become weaker. So if you defeat both if you beat defeat Bo Sai, then Zheng Liang gets weaker. Let's hi, let's be in line of sight of the yellow turbans. Highlight Zheng Liang. That okay, that's actually an interesting mechanic. So everyone has a level. That imp impl implies how difficult the objective is, but defeating sub-objectives makes the other objective easier. So I'm not supposed to hit level 23 to beat Yellow Turbans necessarily, I'm supposed to actually take down- take them down from the bottom up. There's a it gives us a mechanical incentive to actually attack the weaker officers first, and the hi and the higher officers later. Well now I'm interested. That's- that's- okay. There's stuff going on in this game, you guys. I'm discovering things. Oops. I'm supposed to follow this road, apparently. Oh, drawing my weapon. So I can sprint off like this. There we go. I'm I'm really interested to see where this game goes. It's a fran I mean it's it's the it's the ninth game in the franchise. It deserves to have changes happen at some point. By touching by touching waymarks. That can be found on your path. The surrounding area will be displayed on the map. When your des uh, destination is unclear, head to the locations indicators uh, indicated by the icons on the maps and search for a waymark. Do I have to touch it manually? So you can discover chunks of map like this is a Ubisoft game. Uh, horsey? Oh, there you are. Come here. Oh, my horse has a separate stamina meter in the bottom of the screen. Game's running well so far. Uh, I picked up some rocks on horseback. Oh yeah, that's a rare. You can tell that. You can tell that's probably a rare rock because it's uh, clearly uh, it's clearly purple. 
Pressing down will ready your bow, when in shooting mode you can press X to shoot arrows. In addition, if you press right or left you can change the types of arrows. Man, arrows were unusable in like Dynasty Warriors 2 or 3 or whenever they were new. It was hilarious. Oh, this looks like- oh no! You- Mmm. You, you didn't do the thing. You, why did you do this to me, camera? Okay, yeah, that's my fault. Who are these people that only- Who are these weird people? I mean, I shouldn't be complaining too much because I'm the person doing inversion in the first place, but like... Who are these people that only sometimes want inversion? I want inversion for third-person camera, but not for first-person camera. Or bow shoot camera, I guess. Okay, it's got a- it's got a really forgiving hitbox. We don't have to actually aim that closely. You just kind of have to target the right person. I can strafe, bitch. I cannot stress enough that I'm actually having fun right now. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, this is- uh, this is unaimable, though. Let's, uh, let me pay a visit to this. Oh, am I safe because there's a hitbox? <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick little check here real quick. Uh, camera... Do <laughs> massively reduce that. Yeah, there we go. It was moving way too fast. He's behind. Okay, so the entire tower has a hitbox. Gotcha. Do I have infinite? I do have infinite arrows. I have taken out the archers, you guys. I am helping. Because archers are so dangerous. I mean, they actually. They can be horrifyingly dangerous in, in Dice Warriors games, actually. My, bro my brother and friends and I used to play split screen on maximum difficulty with underleveled characters in like dark, rainy levels that were filled with uh, with uh, archers or sometimes Hefei Castle. And the archers would devastate you. A line of archers was actually like a tactical barrier you had to figure out how to get around. I'm about to die. I am about to die. Ouchies. Huh? <laughs> I have an oil pot. Okay, so, so damage taken is no joke. I have to be more careful than that. I'm, I am playing on hard mode, which I did to myself. There's two guys. There's two guys fighting in there, or is, or is that? Or that's vitality power powder, isn't it? If I really go for it, I might be able to get it before anyone kills me. Yeah, or not? That wasn't vitality powder. Shit. Aha! I saw a counter prompt and I just jumped in. Your time's up! <laughs> if you don't have a- you don't need to have good voices if you can just add Excellent really funny job, reverb. Dude. I've got some more health a little bit now. I think we might have been using the rules where if you run out of low on health, your Muso recharges over time. I figured I'd play it on a harder difficulty just because it'd make me think about it more. Because if I'm playing mine- if I'm playing the way it usually goes, then there won't be a lot to talk about. Oh, that's what it was. There's a Muso pickup. <laughs> I've got a full meter, guys. So for new newcomers, if you see a big black pot with like a, a brown cap on top, not this, but different, uh, it fills up the Muso meter instantly, which is very useful. But right now I have low health because I'm uh, apparently terrible. And, uh, that means that my Musa meter is charging over time, that yellow meter. Which means I can use that attack whenever it refills. It's not a- it's, it sounds powerful, but the gamble here is that if I take, like, a hit, I'll die. Which is not a good place to be in. But I'll take advantage of it while I'm here, because I've put myself here, apparently. I'm stuck on a tree. I was here for Bo Kai, right? Or is he not even here? I'm not even there yet, am I? No, I'm on the way to him. This is just like a base. But he's got like- oh, there's a bunch of dudes down there, but those are all allies. In fact, Bo Kai is currently at like 40% control. Or morale. Where the enemies are actually taking over a bit. So this is interesting because it's a macro version of what these- this franchise normally is. Each, each map is a series of things where characters are moving around on the map itself 
and you're trying to clear paths and bases so that your forces can get to various spot spots to sort of control areas in a vaguely like almost like a much more larger complicated version of a dota map except dota has a lot more going on tactically with the characters than this one these games usually do but it's kind of like if you imagine a dota map it's not that far off to think that that's how every dynasty warriors game has ever been for the last like i don't know 15 years or however old this franchise is is it the, the, you, this is you can look at this as being like lanes like that's where we started and like the soldiers are going through here from base to base and they're stuck the ones coming from my base are stuck here at this base and they're colliding with enemy forces here so if you take out this base then move forward to reinforce this one where these allies were coming from somewhere else probably except now it's over this entire map and then it's going to have developing story context for what's happening we'll see we'll see if they make something of it curious about the mostly negative reviews on Steam in particular. The Metacritic stuff I'm used to, because a lot of people don't like this franchise and that's fine, but you would assume the people that are reviewing it on Steam are people that like the franchise, right? Otherwise, why'd they come here on day one of all things? Like, hotly anticipating it or something. So either I'm gonna encounter something disastrous, or maybe my computer's just so powerful that nobody... I'm not noticing any of the technical problems that people are complaining about. Or maybe the game is just going to be a disaster and the novelty's going to wear off after like an hour and I'm going to be not having a good time. All I know is I'm level 8, which is almost as good as actually finding a healing item. <laughs> I think this is just gonna be an ultra long episode. I'm just gonna go until I defeat Bokai. And that'll be the end of the first episode. I just put away my weapon trying to sprint, and then I tried then I crouched. Okay. Trapping myself there. I feel like I'll do a long episode to show the tutorial, the the basic setup, explain how missions work, how I'm unlo character unlocking works, how parallel storylines work. Otherwise. This might take three episodes to get through, and that'd be we that'd be a, a long time for setup. Want to clear this base, goddammit? Bo Captain, how dare you infringe upon my territory or whatever? Get out of here. Never mind that this is your base. <laughs> Ow! Wow, my health is low. Playing on hard difficulty is not pulling punches so far. There's still plenty of the, like, whacking away at ragdoll enemies that aren't responding and stuff like that, because that's common. But damn, I'm taking hits. My health is regularly almost empty to the point where I'm like, how did I not die? Have I how have I not died on accident yet, is my main question. You think I would have died on accident because of all the hits that almost kill me? Uh, grappling hook? What? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> All right, cool. I'll take it. A relief, Captain? No, there will be no relief today. How dare you? Into the into the sky with you? Nope, or not? Oh well, I missed completely. This guy's really. This guy dodges a lot. Oh, he's level 15. I should probably be worried about that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Oh, you're in the air. And then I me messed up by pressing the wrong button, and you're not in the air anymore. Yes! You must not get a chance to respond. There we go. Underpaid American actor sees line, says, Death Curdle. How many bow captains can there be? You can't all be captain. Oh, I got a headshot, I think. That must have been a headshot. I don't need ladders. Never again. You guys saw me do, use the last ladder of this entire playthrough. Cap yes, there it is. Ooh. Ooh, I, I'm so interested in how they're doing this. It's a it's a clear it's a clear mechanical version of how previous Dynasty Warriors games have worked, which is that 
you deal with this morale meter and base captures, and it's always kind of vague. Like, oh, it's the morale meter. It does something. Sometimes you'll have like a star rating on a on an officer, and you won't know what it means. But now they're contextualizing it like an RPG with levels, and it's like, oh, you defeated that thing. His level dropped from like six to three, and you defeat him, and that guy's level will will drop from ten to six, and it's like. Oh, everything makes so much sense all of a sudden. This is cool. They're making interesting changes. And I like that. Now, take defensive positions. There's so many enemies here. Uh, I'm not stopping. Not stopping. I've learned the hard way how quickly these people could kill me. Because my health is so low. So Bokai is reacting to my raid. I'm gonna go to the other side of the map with all of my allies and help them instead. Because I do not want to be on, stuck on the wrong side of this. The air game is great. That's fun. I like juggling them into the air, then chasing them into the air, then attacking them in the air, then maybe doing a finisher. It's definitely item crafting. The, I'm probably going to ignore side quests in this game. Let's just be clear about that, because uh, I don't want to know, honestly, what the hell the developers of Dynasty Warriors would consider to be optional side content, because their main content is already, like, usually not the most exciting thing in the world. All right, I need to figure out how to make Vitality Power. I need Licorice Root. Shit. Can I make anything right now with any of the things I have? I, I, I need healing. It's a problem. I don't fully understand how to get healing. I don't have any licorice powder is the problem, apparently. Apparently licorice powder is our go-to healing item. Are you licorice? Salt Captain's advancing. So Bokai is in there. He's level 3. I have... I, I got Muso. I should use that. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I'm just hacking away at the leader of this group. Ooh, am I gonna get it? Am I gonna get it? I did not get it. Roll out, roll out before something bad happens. He's still down. I might be able to take advantage of this. Yes! Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, that was a quick, that was a quick, that was a quick assassination. You run in, you kill the leader, get the hell out. Oh, I leveled up. So far, leveling up is my primary way of healing, which is definitely not... That can't be intended. I've got to be doing something wrong here. With fast travel, you can press start and then return to an area previously visited related to a mission. Cool. I got drops to pick up, though. All right, yeah, those people are both weaker now. I'm level nine. I leveled up again. <laughs> leveled up twice that fight, apparently. Really important objective for my own experience. So completing objectives levels you up and levels them down. Look at that map. That's accurate to what the game generally looks like, and the uh, the size of the circle shows you how strong each force is, basically. On the map, your ally's sphere of influence is represented by blue lines, and the enemy's sphere of influence is represented by red lines. Battles will occur in locations where enemies and allies meet. By capturing such locations, you can advance your army. When you have captured a large battlefield, the tides of bat uh, battle will turn in your favor. So to try to expand your sphere of influence as much as possible. I keep trying to press Y to attack. I have to manually draw. There we go. Haven't used this oil pod yet. I should try that. I was just trying to do some other things real quick. Hang Tuo. Let's go screw this guy up. There we go. I couldn't do it better myself. They don't stand a chance now because some of these guys are level three and I'm level nine. Oh, the power dynamics here. It's like a really chaotic, high resolution version of a half minute hero. Have you guys ever played that game? Half Minute Hero is a game that's like a puzzle. It's like a map navigation uh, JRPG puzzle game because it's a game where all of the JRPG like grinding and leveling is all heavily abstracted. So you don't really directly fight in combat necessarily. But what will happen is you'll like, an enemy of a dungeon will be X level. And so you can do X amount of like grinding in the, in the uh, you can do a certain amount of like grinding in the overworld and stuff like that for the purpose of uh, 
getting to the right level, but then you lose resources in the pro, uh, pro in the in the process of grinding. So you're like balancing how much grinding you're gonna do versus how much like, uh, I don't know. They, I don't know how to articulate exactly, but it's just like there's a there's, there's just a specific power balance of like how strong your enemy is and how strong you are, and it's like a weird time management puzzle game, contextualized as being a JRPG parody thing. And weirdly, that's kind of what's going on here a little bit. Is this uh? You're dropping the, your enemy's levels while raising your level while na navigating a map, all for the purpose of taking on that dude with massive cone hair, which we'll probably do next episode. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. I want to see where this goes. I'll see you next time.